The next part of the animation view that we're going to look at is going to be our curve view. And in the curve view, we're going to attach a couple of other parts to it. The first part that we're going to look at is at the top. This is our timeline. The timeline has some numbers and little dashes and dots in here, and each one of these represent a single frame of animation. So if we were to go over to the colon 1, 0, this is 10 frames of animation. Below that, we have our event line, and the event line is where the events are added to. When you create an event from here, you're going to see a little dash up here, and that represents the event. Below that, we have our keyframe line. The keyframe line allows you to see the keyframes that are on the curves, just to help you see them a little bit more, uh, more clearly. Below that, we have the main part. This is the main graph area. This is our curve view. And inside of the curve view, we can actually see our animation curves that we're going to work with. And working inside of our curve view, we've got a couple of shortcut keys that we can use to move around inside of this view. You can use the middle mouse button, click and hold to pan around this view. You can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. And you can also use your alt and right mouse button to zoom in and out as well. And if at any point in time you're trying to focus in on a specific area, you can move your cursor to where you want and press the F key. And the F key is going to zoom in to a specific location, just like when you're inside your scene view. And on the left-hand side, this is the actual property. This is the value that you're actually setting your object at. So if you recall, we set a position at 5 on this keyframe. We'll move over to it. You can see that it's at 5 here on the line and at our very first frame at 0. So these are the basics of this view. The next thing we want to do is actually start using this view and seeing how we can work with this view along with our properties view.